So today um, I wanted to talk to you about the virtual transgenic fly lab. So that is in our food production module. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight to this uh, food production button right here and click on it. And this is going to take us to the course resource newsletter, which has all of the important tips and things like that for this module. So if we look here, um, <clears throat> you can see there's the lab. And I'm just going to scroll down to show you some other things. Um, here's some sessions I've done um, in Jigsaw for the content in this course or this uh, module. And then I have some other videos here and um, resources that you can check out um, in case you'd like those as well. So, um, you know, there's a ton of stuff here. So if you, you know, anything you kind of maybe even have an interest in like, oh, let me check out, you know, um, organic food. Here's a uh, a video about organic food. I think that's a TED Talk actually. Um, so they're all different sorts of things and I've got them all hosted on my Google Drive so um, they're accessible for you even you know if YouTube has changed the link or something like that. So um, this is um, this lab. Um, it has a link right here and you can find it on page six of the module. Basically what you're gonna submit, you're gonna complete all six sessions, sections and the quizzes and then you'll click on the quiz tab and print to PDF your results. Then you'll write out a conclusion, which includes a summary of the activity and an overview of how a transgenic organism is created and the benefits and hazards of this technology. And then you're going to um, cite all of your resources. And then you're going to upload the PDF lab quiz summary file and the conclusion to the Fly Lab um, Dropbox. So um, what I'm going to be looking for in here is I'm going to look for your, um, your quiz answers and then also your um, your quiz PDF um, of all six of those quizzes and then the um, the conclusion so um, it looks like the quizzes or um, you'll get a quiz here if you when you're ready for it I guess um, we'll try it um, together I actually haven't tried to do this lab before um, so we're going to click on the ice bucket to view an animation about the construct and transposase DNA sources so let's try that. And there's some information on the right here. You see this, and they have more information about any of these things that you're looking at. Um, so it's kind of interesting. So this is like a little graphic and then um, this is, I guess, the notebook section, and it kind of tells you what they're doing. Okay, so we now that was the prepare DNA step. Now we can um, click on the micro pipette that contains DNA to be injected. Which tube is correct? So let's try this one. The yellow micro pipette. And we're going to click on this little needle. Now we'll click on these needles. This right here, this micro pipette, it's um, it basically measures a very specific, very tiny amount of a solution. Okay, so um, and then you have your um, questions here, <coughs> and then you have you'll um, answer them here, and then you'll submit your quiz. I'm just gonna put A all the way down just so we can show it. Um, obviously I, I got about 25% right, which makes sense because, you know, there's four questions. Um, so I'm going to hit done. And then, um, so here's my quiz. And then, so you'll have, um, you'll have six different quizzes and you'll put all, you'll make a PDF of this. Let me see if we can figure out how to do that. We'll hit print. Now, um, here's what I usually do. Now, I, remember, this is only one quiz, so it's pretty short. 
Um, I do print to PDF or save as PDF. Either one is fine. Um, you can do whatever you want. Um, so we can do like save as PDF and I'll hit save. And then I could, you know, put it on my, um, um, save it, whatever I want to call it. I would put your name in it. So for me, I would put uh, Crotal E maybe or Emily for my name. And then um, Fly Lab Quizzes or something like that. And then you can save it. And then you'll just upload that to the file after you've written your conclusion. Um, and you'll you'll upload the conclusion and the fly lab. So that's that's all you have to do for that lab. So um, it's a little bit of time consuming because you do have to like kind of go through the little virtual part, but you don't have to write a lab report or anything like that. You just um, submit the PDF lab quiz summary file and your conclusion documents um, into that folder, and then you're good to go. So um, hopefully this was kind of helpful as to what you. Um, are expected to turn in for this lab.